Hi, I'm Tara. I have this month's mini Make It To Go kit. It's this adorable mini bunting that's made out of paper. And I haven't actually done this craft yet this month, so we'll do it together and see how it goes. Each kit has three pieces of coordinating cardstock paper, a ribbon, craft glue, a brush, and most importantly, this little triangle, which is your template. So you'll also need a pair of scissors. And then, well, first thing we're going to do is take a piece of the paper, and I want this to be the, the outside that shows. So we're going to fold each paper in half horizontally. So you want to bring the edges up like so and make a nice crease as you do it. Okay, if you don't get it perfectly done, there's always some room for forgiveness. And I want them to be different, so I'm going to use it this way. So there, we did that. So then using the template, we're going to cut pennants from the paper with the widest part aligned with the fullest side of the paper and the point down at the paper opening, which means we'll do it this way and we'll line up our, we'll line up our first pennant like that. The actually there's a little, we'll actually line it up like this because there are two little dots here as you can see might help to poke them out. Which I don't think we're going to use, but at least it helps with the alignment so you can get the most out of it. So we'll just line it up like that and then cut. And as you can see, it's going to make quite a few like this. So we have all of our triangles cut out. You might want to put them in the order that you're going to put them on to the ribbon. And it's up to you if you want to start from the center of the ribbon or if you want to start from one side. If you really want to get technical, you can go ahead and measure out where you want them to be. But I'm just going to start from the middle. Um, and I'm just going to eyeball it because if you wrap it around something or hang it, it's not going to really make a big difference. So start by opening up your triangle, diamond, and put some glue along the crease. Don't need a lot, just a little. And then on the, on the points, on the edges. Then you'll just put the ribbon in between the crease, fold it over, and press down on the crease and the point. You can wipe off any excess glue. I tend to make a mess, so um, I will probably need a baby wipe to keep it clean. <laughs> and you'll just do that all the way across until you're finished. It's up to you how far apart you want to space them. And you can even cut it into two pieces if you want to um, if you want to make little buntings. But we'll just continue to put them on the crease. And probably less is more. Hold my ribbon down so that it's all, it doesn't curl up the wrong way. up after myself. Okay, so once you do that, you'll have your finished bunting. 
I've let it dry before you hang it, but then you can use it to, to decorate anything. Be sure to leave a little bit on the ends. You can tie a knot on the ends if you want to attach it to something. And just wrap it around and you're done. It's very cute. Adds a little bit of, of festivity to your home or office decor. Um, easy to make and once you do this you can make it in all different sizes. So um, tune in next month. We're actually going to be using Mod Podge to make some paint stick magnets. Um, we'll provide a few of the different embellishments and they'll be nice to stick to your fridge or whatever, to your memo boards, to whole documents, pictures. There will be some some clips for pictures and um, pick up your kits at the adult services desk or give us a call and we'll arrange to have one set aside for curbside pickup. Thank you. Bye.